Hello everybody, Jen here. And as you can see by the sign behind me, I am at Disney Springs to head into Pin Treaters because why not? Let me torture myself. Can't buy any today, but let's go see what's new. Come on. Hey guys, need a stroller while you're here in the Orlando area on vacation? Stay tuned to the end of the video for a very special offer. They have some new annual pass holder pins. They have a Disney Eras mini pin, the Disney Welcome Foolish Mortals, the Disney 100, I don't know if that's supposed to be goofy or not, and a Cheshire um, Cheshire Cat one. Oh, that's the Disney Rewards. Um, definitely going to have to bring Lee back to get that one for Kay. Oh, very cool. And the awkward, the dancing characters, they have a um, Dark Queen Duck. They have a Freaky Friday. They have a new Disney darling. That's Tiana. That's the Celebrate Farmer's Market Week one. Ooh, the new Halloween pins are out, and it looks like they are Robin Hood themed. A countdown to Halloween pin. They have a new Hocus Pocus set has been released. Ooh, the new unlock the evil is the evil queen. They have a uh, Friendship Day Cogsworth and Lumiere pin. The new Haunted Mansion movie pin. The Pete's Dragon. They have some new of the first appearances for Giant Man and Groot, an Avenger Spinner, a new Trader Sam's pin, ooh, a Disney Fantasia pin, another Hocus Pocus one. Oh, they have some DuckTales ones. They also have all the dancing characters. Oh, the Evil Queen's awesome. They have a new Robin Hood. Let's see for the arcade. They have Robin Hood, Dumbo, 101 Dalmatians. Hercules. Oh, they have the Ursula unlocking the evil. Ooh, I like that one. They also have the Submariner Hulk and Avengers first appearance. Some turnover time ones. Those are interesting. The awkward moments. And then a lot of these that we've already seen. They also have that wonderful World of Color pin here. They also have some other Disney new 100 pins. And... Oh, these are interesting, the way their packaging is. And these are 30 bucks. Wow, that's expensive. It's going to be challenging to film today because I have a bag on my arm because I did some shopping for Janie for her birthday, which is coming up very soon. Uh, is this going to focus? I'm going to have to try to take a picture because these are hard to see. Hold on. So those Star Wars pins are $19.99 for the mystery box. They have a new Haunted Mansion set. These are kind of cool. Interesting how the prices are so arbitrary. Like this one's not a limited release and it's $24.99. But those two new sets are only $19.99. So strange. Ooh, what is it? Flurkin mystery pin set from the Marvels. Oh my gosh, those are so cute and it's not focusing at all. You can kind of see them. And again, the Flurkins are $19.99. They have a new Muppet set for $19.99. Ooh, these are cool. Oh my gosh, I love that Gonzo one. So these are wild. These are like a stand-up pin. Oh, that Stitch one's amazing. <gasps> so I guess you're guaranteed the one you see. And then there's also a mystery pin, it looks like, inside. I wonder how much these are. Let's see, what number is Stitch? Stitch is four out of eight. I might have to do some research here. These are cool. Very interesting. And then for what's new, we have the new Polynesian Village, which we already saw the Trader Sam's. Ooh, we have an Ahsoka one. This, I don't know what this one's from. Fantasia, I think. <gasps> These Nightmare Before Christmas pins are amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the lock, shock, and barrel one. Kay's going to want that so bad. These should all be, I believe, $11.99. Oh, no, they're yellow, so they're $14.99. They have a new Yeti one. Haunted Mansion, welcome to the party. I love the color of these. Aladdin Liotta is so good. The let me out. Oh, my God, I love that coffin. The Hatbox Ghost, which is currently being installed in Magic Kingdom. Oh, wait. Oh, I totally missed this one. Ooh, going to have to get that one for Kay at some point, too. So uh, back to the pins. They have a couple different Marie and Aristocats pins. They have, I think that one might be from the Aristocats as well. 
a new Riviera Resort pin. Oh, that Fort Wilderness one is so cute. Oh, the contemporary one has um, the Incredibles theme. That's cool. The Yeti Ski School. The Groot Succulent. Another Groot. And then I think I've seen all these. Oh, no, that Mary Poppins one's new. When you're with Mary Poppins, suddenly you're in places you've never dreamed of. And then that Grogu one's cool, where he's like in his pram and the pram parts 3D. You feel the force all around you. Love them. Okay, I know Lee did not see the Halloween pins the other day, so we're going to show them. So this is the Mick. Nope, this is Minnie. She's in her little witch's dress. Silver, which is $11.99. There's Goofy. <gasps> the Donald and Chippendale. That's $19.99. That's so cool. They have the Midnight Madness Castle one. The Mickey Pumpkin. And they have Pluto. They do not have Mickey. That's interesting. Yeah, they're just Minnie. There's no Mickey. Then they have a Winnie the Pooh four-piece set. And these are 30 for the four pins. And then I guess maybe because the Mickey's in the four, because it's a four set of Mickey's for 35. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, that's a cute Mother's Day pin. I can't remember. Oh, I think I did show these, the Mother's Day and Father's Day ones. I haven't really looked through just the regular pins in a while. They have those fun Alice ones. I love that one where she's the house. The white rabbit, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, wow, they even have that one scene with the oysters. Very cool. They have an Atlantis pin. That's from Big Hero 6, I believe. <gasps> Chicken Little, you never see Chicken Little pins. <laughs> Squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeaking. Love me some Emperor's New Groove. A Fox and the Hound. It's been, oh wow, um, oh, what is that called? Great Mouse Detective. Some Hercules pins. They just have one little stitch trying to keep it together. Man, stitch, I feel you right now. I am all about that right now. Well, we have a lot of kind of rarer pins here. This one is Rescuers. They have a sword in the stone one. A lot of poo ones. These poo map ones are really cute. Your Piglet, Tigger, and Rue. Christopher Robin and Pooh. They have another new Jessica Rabbit one. Interesting. An upside down sort of day. That's cute. They have some Zootopia pins. Uh, the Pixel wreck -It Ralph one's really cool too. They have a whole villain section. Oh, these are some new villains pins. Ooh, that Yzma is epic. I love that. Turnabout. Ooh, that Evil Queen one's cool, too. Ooh, I really like this line. Why is, like, everybody super awesome? And then Ursula just has some bubbles behind her. I feel like they did Ursula dirty there. <sighs> Not, like, in the direction they went with Melissa McCarthy in the new movie. Then they have all the supporting characters pins here. These ones are more because they're bigger, so they're $17.99 each. But these are so pretty. I love the color scheme of these. Oh, I don't think I've seen that Lion King one before. Oh, the Toy Story one's cute too. That Loki one. Oh, the Tatooine one from uh, the Cantina. Oh, they have a bunch of... Oh, that's the... Oh, the Ewok one. I love that. Oh my gosh, they even have a Three Caballeros one. They have a lot of like the theme park pins for all the different countries china norway mexico we got germany american adventure italy japan morocco france uh the uk i love the fish and chips ones for the uk that one's my favorite canada that one's cool with the totem pole and then just like the Toy Story Land, like those kind of ones. Best date night ever. That's cute. Very cool. <gasps> I don't have this one. Oh, this is killing me. Definitely going to have to come back and get him at some point. Um, you know what? They have a Jumbo House one, but not a Kadani Village one here. I'm actually staying at Kadani Village next month. Cannot wait. We'll definitely be buying a pin there. Ooh, the totem pole one. My dad actually has the actual totem pole. Um, might have to at some point get him that pin. Oh, I don't like that new all-star pin at all. Nope. The Pop Century one I like. The to the max. That's cute. 
<gasps> Vero Beach. I'm staying here in October. I'm so excited. I'll definitely be buying that pin when I get there. The Contemporary Resort. I love that they do. This is the older one, I think, because the new one is The Incredibles. But I love this Mary Blair theme. And then just the traditional Wilderness Lodge one. Oh, they even have a Disney Springs pin. That's cool. And then these are the collectible medallions. So these are the bigger ones. These are not the quarters. But here in Pin Traders, they have Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. They have Grogu. They have Woody. And they have Black Panther. Ooh, this is a pretty starter set. It is the, like, shadow villains. Like, the black and white. And Ursula looks amazing in that. Ooh, these starter sets are $40 now. Holy cow, they used to be $25 when we first started coming. Gosh dang. But there's some really cute ones. Um, these are one way to start pin trading. If you need a lanyard, this is a good way to start because you get the four pins and the lanyard. Um, I still say those mystery pin packs, even though they're jumping up in price, it's still only $8 a pin for those because you get five in a pin pack. So it's still cheaper than anything else. That's still the cheapest way to go. And they do still sell this My Pin Trading Starter Set, which literally has the rules and all. And the cool thing about this specific one is it's duplicates. So there's two to keep and two to trade. But I still say if you're going to do that, buy ones you don't necessarily want and trade all four for ones you do want. Oh, I don't think I've seen this villain set either with Cruella, Hook, Yzma, and Gaston. They have the Family Madri Gal set. They have the Princess Ensemble set seen this one i still want to just get that robot stitch i love him we have the moana set we have a really awesome um, nightmare before christmas set this is the magic kingdom lands set that's really cool and then they have a pride set um, for marvel now these are the actual press pennies so this one again it's the same it only has one of the hundredth ones so it just has a random incredibles one a random nemo one and then it has iron man for the disney 100th oh this is cool they have an hortensia fig pin i love that they have the disney princess ariel in her pink dress they have ursula i have an ursula but i don't think it's that one and they have one that says animated features, but the pins are kind of spread out because it doesn't have all the animated features here. So it has Tailspin, it has Gargoyles, it has a cheerleader one, then it has the Muppets, and it has, oh, I cannot think of what they're called. That's terrible. And then another Muppet pin, and I love that one with Fozzie and Kermit. And then they just have a bunch of Marvel pins. These are very cool. I've shown a lot of these before. That's why I'm just like panning through. I haven't seen that war machine. Oh, these Marvel food ones are cool. There's snacks. And here's pizza. Captain America Shield and pizza. That's awesome. Ooh, these are kind of neat. I haven't seen these one. I haven't seen Sharpshooter before. The Sorcerer Supreme is new. Very cool. And I'm hopping back over here because I have some Castaway K pins. I love the ship in a bottle one. That's so cool. Oh, they actually have a second press penny machine. This one has Mickey or Pluto. And then for the hundredth, it has Captain America. So I caved. I did get this just because the stitch is absolutely amazing. And they're limited edition. I don't know what they're limited edition of. However, I didn't ask the price before and wasn't paying attention until after I checked out. This was $50 for two pins. Oh, wow, it's only $1,075. Ooh, that's a good limited edition. Okay, so you get this one, and then it says there's also a mystery pin. Since I'm out of regular pins, we're going to do a quick unboxing right now. Okay, so there is a bag. I didn't buy more merch for me. Um, actually, my mom had seen something she wanted to get Janie for Christmas, so she had me pick it up for her. So that's actually part of Janie's Christmas present in that bag. So this is all I got for me. And I kind of like prepped it because this is an interesting box to open. So we pop this side here. It has like directions. And, and this is also going to be very challenging to do with one hand. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Ugh, open. Oh, that's amazing. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, look at the little package. That's going to be a tiny mystery pin. That's nuts. How do I open this? 
This is so hard to do one-handed, y'all. Wow, this is a tiny pin. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I need an extra set of hands. Hold on. Okay. This is a super tiny pin. I can't believe how small this thing is. I can't get it open. What is going on right now? Oh, it's his blaster. Wait, can I attach that to him somehow? Hold up. So this is amazing. This thing weighs like about a pound. Like it's pretty heavy. Limited edition 1,075. I'm so glad this has a good quality back. But it's amazing. With, oops, his blaster's upside down. It stinks that there's no way to attach his blaster. But this pin is beautiful. It actually has a sticky, so it's made to, like, stay in the package. So it's almost like he's in a little ship. But um, that's coming off when I get home, because he's amazing and he's going on my board. Kind of wish this was, like, scrump or something, but it is what it is. And it also just has a normal size pin back, so there's no way, like, I tried to, like, rig it so that it would look like he was holding his blaster. Maybe once I put it on the pin board, I'll try. I might have better luck there. And the kind of cool thing is the package is really sticky, so it, like, literally closes back up. So I can just pop it back up, and I even sealed the pin back in his little triangle, too. And I'll put it back in the bag. Well, that's going to do it for me today at Pin Traders. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys! Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.